Harvesting the first flush of roselle flowers, some lessons learned growing them this year, and making a cool Caribbean Christmas time beverage. It's all about this warm weather loving shrub today on The Clumsy Gardener. Hey everyone, welcome back. So the weather has just started to cool down ever so slightly and the days are starting to get shorter, which means hibiscus sabdaritha harvesting time. These are rosels, uh, also called rosella in Australia or roselle fruit, I believe. And the flowers have been blooming over the past week and a bit. And as you can see here, uh, we're left with these uh, fleshy, waxy looking pods. Inside is a hard shell which contains seeds, but uh, for those that grow this for the calices, uh, I guess calyx is singular, calices is plural, pl pu plural, pu plural. <laughs> this outside piece is the, the main thing that we're after. While the leaves are used in some recipes, the fleshy flower calices are the main attraction. The plant is likely native to Africa and Southeast Asia, but grows well in warmer climates, like in the Caribbean and Australia. It's used in various cultures in various ways. Syrups, teas, iced beverages, jams, and much more. I'm harvesting the ones that are big and full. I cut carefully not to disturb young buds as it's likely we'll have another flush of flowers before temperatures actually really start dropping here in Hong Kong. So we started these in seed trays around March, April time. So it's been about six months or so. Um, they have quite a long growing season and we grow them as annuals. An important tip, especially if you're growing them in containers, uh, here's a good comparison. So this one is growing in a container that's much smaller than this one. This one is about 20, 26 centimeters in uh, d uh, diameter inside uh, and just under t so that's just under 10 inches just under a foot tall uh, so that's about 30 centimeters or so uh, whereas this one 38 centimeters diameter uh, just under 15 inches about 35 centimeters tall just under 14 inches ish but it has, it has about twice the amount of branches and much larger fruits, more calices. There's an optimal size for those of us that do need to do a lot of our growing in containers. This is probably the smallest you can get away with. To estimate by volume, that's about five gallons or a little under 20 liters. Remember, if you can't afford the space to go a little larger, do. So I'm going to try my hand at making a Jamaican sorrel beverage, typically served around Christmas time. Uh, by the way, sorrel is the word they use in Jamaica to refer to this plant. Uh, I read a few recipes online that called for additional spices or fruit, but as far as I can tell, these seem to be the foundation. Here we go. Sorrel, orange skin, cinnamon, some ginger, which I'll smash, boil them all together with some water. Uh, let it simmer for a while, sweeten to taste, uh, let chill, and serve cold. So it's got this beautiful color. Mm. Ooh, easy drinking. It's, 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 it's a little sour, a little tart, and that's from the hibiscus flowers, Roselle. Um, can taste a bit of that citrus peel. Oh, got a bit of that ginger. It's actually really light and nice and refreshing. Goes down easy. I probably want uh, a bit more of all the ingredients in there. Probably could do with a little bit more sugar. Mm. Now sometimes rum is also added uh, to make it a cocktail. Uh, perhaps not now, but maybe a little bit later on in the day. So yeah, that's my try at this uh, Jamaican sorrel beverage. 
And that is our episode. Now we do like to seed save around here. So uh, at the end of the season, we're gonna leave a few of those pods on the plant to mature so we can save those seeds uh, that are gonna be inside that hard shell pod right inside uh, to do this again, same time next year. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Take care everyone, happy growing. We'll see you next time.